Okay, hello, just a quick update. Um, if anyone wants to research the, well, a lot of people might call it the anti-psychiatry movement, but there's plenty of psychiatrists out there who are in their 60s, 70s, 80s, who have practiced, they've prescribed drugs for years and years and years, and they've realized that the drugs are actually making mental illness worse. Um, Thomas Saz is one, I think he's bloody well in his mid 80s. Um, he calls it the myth of mental illness, one of his famous books. There's Robert Whitaker, who's written Mad in America and Anatomy of an Epidemic. Um, Joanna Moncrief has written a book on antipsychotics called The Bitterest Pills, how they really numb you, they make you feel like you have no feelings in life, and they lead to suicide, with certainly the neuroleptics, um, which may be quite damaging to the brain when used over time. Um, who else is there? Kenneth, Ken Kenneth Kendler, the world expert in chemical imbalances, has stated we have hunted for these sim simple chemical imbalances and have not found them. So the dopamine hypothesis in schizophrenia or mania and the serotonin hypothesis in depression, their hypothesis that came out in the 50s and they have not been proved to this day. So you take diabetes you take, I don't know, any other kind of illness that can be measured with a blood test or a scan or something. Psychiatry cannot be measured. It, they have no proof for it. But once you're put on antipsychotics or antidepressants long, long term, then your symptoms will get worse and you will have relapses and relapses and relapses. And this is what I've had to learn the hard way. But... um. There's other, there's psychologists, a uh, famous one actually, Kenneth Kendler is actually going to review my manuscript, which I'm thrilled at. He's going to provide a foreword once it's ready. Um, and another psychologist over in Pennsylvania, he is, um, his name, he's got a podcast called Radically Genuine, Roger McFillin. Um, I'm following him on Twitter. He's, he's got like lots of in, uh, guests on his show and I've only started listening to his podcast lately they're quite good but basically um who is it the other he's not yeah David Healy he did his PhD on the serotonin system and the newest antidepressant I've never been given an antidepressant um I was offered it a couple of times and I refused because I just I watched my mother suffer with depression for 15 years and no drugs fixed her they actually she had depression and then the antidepressants made her manic so she was given antipsychotics then but um so uh, he did his PhD on the serotonin system David Healy and basically what he's found is that homicides suicides worsening depression it's 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 a reality of when you're given these drugs long term and eventually after six, seven, eight years of his research and many of his papers being published, the FDA eventually put black box warning warnings on all SSRIs and even on antipsychotics. There's warnings on every single fucking drug to say they cause homicide and suicide. So my kind of message for you out there is before you go see a psychiatrist if you're mildly down if you've lost a loved one if you're going through a breakup if you are not doing well in exams this is really for people in their teens and early 20s think about it normal human emotions they are very very normal and they should not be diagnosed as a mental illness. I understand antipsychotics are needed when people are completely paranoid that the CIA are after them, want them dead, the mafia are after them. Short term. Once the symptoms of psychosis have softened, mine softened when I came back from Vietnam in 2012. I was hearing a ring in my ear. That was about it. I wasn't hearing any mad voices, so it was a change in my surrounding environment, yet I was told to take an antipsychotic haloperidol for 18 months, 
and that's where my problem started. So once your symptoms of psychosis or anything have softened, after a month, six weeks, maybe two months, three months tops in the severest of cases, then it's best to come off them. And all those psychiatrists that I listed, Robert Whitaker, Peter Bregan, Thomas Saz, um, David Healy, Joanna Moncrief, she's written the book, The Bitterest Pills, it's worth looking into their research. Okay, God bless.